Hello all. Today we're going to learn about a multinational confectionery company, Cadbury. Most of us have heard about this company. Let us know this company in a much better way. Cadbury is a British multinational confectionery company owned by Mondelez International. It is the second largest confectionery brand in the world after Wrigley's. Cadbury is headquartered in Uxbridge, London and operates in more than 50 countries worldwide. Cadbury is best known for its confectionery products including the dairy milk chocolate, the cream egg and the roses selection box. Cadbury was established in Birmingham in 1824 by John Cadbury who sold tea, coffee and drinking chocolate. In 1847, John Cadbury became a partner with his brother, Benjamin, and the company became known as Cadbury Brothers. The brothers opened an office in London, and in 1854, they received the royal warrant as manufacturers of chocolate and cocoa to Queen Victoria. The company went into decline in the late 1850s. John Cadbury's sons, Richard and George, took over the business in 1861. The firm's first major big breakthrough occurred in 1866 when Richard and John introduced an improved cocoa in Britain. In 1905, Cadbury launched its Dairy Milk Bar, a production of exceptional quality with a higher proportion of milk than previous chocolate bars. It was a great sales success and became the company's best-selling product by 1914. Cadbury merged with drinks company Schweppes to form Cadbury Schweppes in 1969. Head of Schweppes Lord Watkinson became chairman and Adrian Cadbury became deputy chairman and managing director. In 1978, the company acquired Peter Paul, the third largest chocolate manufacturer in the United States, for $58 million, which gave it a 10% share of the world's largest confectionery market. In March 2007, it was revealed that Cadbury Schweppes was planning to split its business into two separate entities, one focusing on its main chocolate and confectionery market, the other on its U.S. drinks business. The demerger took effect on 2nd May 2008, with the drinks business becoming Dr. Pepper Snapple Group. In December 2008, it was announced that Cadbury was to sell its Australian beverage unit to Asahi Breweries. As of 2013, Cadbury operates its head office at the Cadbury House in the Uxbridge Business Park in Uxbridge, London, Borough of Hillingdon, England. The building occupies 84,000 square feet of space inside Building 3 of the Business Park. Cadbury, which leases space in the building it occupies, has relocated from central London to its current head office. Cadbury previously maintained its head office which was at 25 Berkeley Square in Mayfair, City of Westminster. Major chocolate brands produced by Cadbury include the bars Dairy Milk, Crunchier, Caramel, Whisper, Boost, Picnic, Flake, Curly, Whirly, Chomp and Fudge. Chocolate Buttons, the boxed chocolate brand Milk Tray and the Twist Wrapped Chocolates Heroes. As well as Cadbury's chocolate, the company also owns Maynard's and Halls and is associated with several types of confectionery including former Trebor and Bassett's brands or products such as Licorice, Alsorts, Jelly Babies, Flums, Mints, Blackjack Chews, Trident Gums and Soft Mints. The confectionery business in the UK is called Cadbury, formerly Cadbury Trebor Bassett and as of August 2004, has eight factories and 3,000 staff in the UK. Biscuits bearing the Cadbury brand, such as Cadbury Fingers, are produced under licenses by Burton's Foods. Cadbury also owns Trevor Bassett's Fries. Cadbury Ireland Limited is based in Coolock in Dublin. Cadbury opened the first Irish factory in Ossery Road, Dublin in 1933, when the company manufactured and sold just three products. Today, it exports over 200 of its products to 30 countries worldwide, making a contribution of 110 million euros of Irish trade. Cadbury Adams produces candy, gum, breath mints and cough drops. It is headquartered in Parisipani, New Jersey. 
The company was formed after the then Cadbury Schweppes purchased the Adams brand from Pfizer in December 2002 for 4.2 billion US dollars. American Chile was purchased by Warner Lambert in 1962. Warner Lambert renamed the unit Adams in 1997 and merged with Pfizer in 2000. Cadbury merged with Peter Paul in 1978. Ten years later, the Hershey Company acquired the chocolate business from Cadbury. Accordingly, although the Cadbury Group's chocolate products have been sold in the U.S. since 1988, the products are manufactured by Hershey. Before the May 2008 demerger, the North American business also contained beverage unit Cadbury Schweppes America's Beverages. In 1982, Cadbury Schweppes purchased the Duffy Mott Company. Cadbury was incorporated in India on 19th July 1948. Cadbury India began its operations in India in 1948 by importing chocolates. The head office is presently situated in Pedder Road, Mumbai, under the name of Cadbury House. This monumental structure at Pedder Road has been a landmark for the citizens of Mumbai since its creation. Since 1965, Cadbury has also pioneered the development of cocoa cultivation in India. For over two decades, Cadbury has worked with the Kerala Agricultural University to undertake cocoa research. In July 2007, Cadbury Schweppes announced that it would be outsourcing its transactional accounting and order capture functions to shared business services SBS, centers run by a company called Genpact, a business services provider in India, China and Romania. This was to affect all business units and be associated with US and UK functions being transferred to India by the end of 2007, with all units transferred by mid-2009. Depending on the success of this move, other accounting human resources functions may follow. This development is likely to lead to the loss of several hundred jobs worldwide, but also to several hundred jobs being created at lower salaries commensurate with wages paid in developing countries. On 7th September 2009, Kraft's Foods made a 10.2 billion pounds, 116.2 billion US dollars, indicative takeover bid for Cadbury. The offer was rejected with Cadbury stating that it undervalued the company. On 19th January 2010, it was announced that Cadbury and Kraft, Kraft Foods had reached a deal and that Kraft would purchase Cadbury for 8.40 pounds per share valuing Cadbury at £11.5 billion. Kraft, which issued a statement stating that the deal will create a global confectionery leader, had to borrow £7 billion in order to finance the takeover. On 2nd February 2010, Kraft secured over 71% of Cadbury's shares, thus finalising the deal. Kraft had needed to reach 75% of the shares in order to be able to delist Cadbury from the stock market and fully integrate it as part of Kraft. This was achieved on February 5, 2010 and the company announced that Cadbury shares would be delisted on 8 March 2010. On 4 August 2011, Kraft Foods announced they would be splitting into two companies beginning on 1 October 2012. The confectionery business of Kraft became Mondelez International of which Cadbury is a subsidiary. William Adlington Cadbury Charitable Trust was founded in 1923 by William Cadbury to further his charitable interest. One such was the building of the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, a medical centre with the space and facilities to bring together the small specialised hospitals scattered throughout Birmingham, giving them the benefit of up-to-date buildings, shared administration, shared services and hostels for nurses. He did much to encourage the city library, the art gallery and a wide circle of Midland artists who became his personal friends. Through this charity, he also secured several properties for the National Trust. William Cadbury was followed as chairman by two of his sons, John 1905 to 1985, then Brandon 1915 to 2011, who was in turn succeeded in 2000 by the pre present chairman, William's granddaughter, Sarah Stafford. Today, trustees are guided by William's Cad William Cadbury's concern for the welfare and the well-being of the inhabitants of Birmingham and the surrounding area, his interest in the work of the Society of Friends at home and abroad, and his belief in the continuing need for penal reform. 
overseas grant making reflects his love of Ireland and his interest in West Africa, where he pioneered the commercial production of cocoa in the first decade of the 20th century. So we got to know about the different aspects of Cadbury. We went through the company's history to its present-day scenario. Hope the information was useful. Have a good day ahead.